The year is 1944. World War II rages across the globe, a relentless storm consuming nations. In Italy, a brutal stalemate grips the Allied forces. Their objective, Rome, the Eternal City. But barring their path stands an immovable object, a mountain named Monte Cassino. Atop Monte Cassino, perched like a watchful predator, sits an ancient abbey, a symbol of peace and sanctity. Yet, beneath its hallowed halls, a different story unfolds. German forces have transformed the monastery into a fortress, a bastion of steel and resolve. The Battle of Monte Cassino, a clash not just of armies, but of ideologies. On one side, the Allied crusade for freedom. On the other, the iron grip of Nazi tyranny. This would be no ordinary battle. It would be a crucible of fire, a desperate struggle for every inch of ground. January 17, 1944. The Allied juggernaut lurches forward. French and American troops spearhead the assault, a baptism by fire against the entrenched Germans. Days turn into weeks. The winter air chills the soldiers to the bone, while German machine guns unleash a relentless fury. The ground becomes a graveyard. The Allies falter, their initial optimism dashed against the rocky slopes of Monte Cassino. The question lingers. Can they break through this seemingly impregnable wall? A fierce debate erupts within the Allied camp. Should they target the Abbey itself? Some argue it's a historical treasure, a beacon of faith. Others see it as a legitimate military target, a shield for the German war machine. The weight of the decision hangs heavy, but the clock is ticking. Rome beckons, and every day's delay comes at a bloody price. February 15th, 1944. A fateful decision is made. Allied bombers unleash a torrent of destruction upon the Abbey. The once hallowed halls are reduced to rubble. The world recoils in horror. Was it a tactical necessity or a barbaric act? But the German defenders remain. They have burrowed deep within the ruins, creating a labyrinth of concrete and steel. The battle rages on, more ferocious than ever. New Zealand and Indian troops take center stage. Their courage shines like a beacon in the face of unimaginable carnage. They claw their way up the treacherous slopes, each step a testament to human resilience. But the German defense is brutal. Machine guns tear through their ranks. Mortar shells rain down like deadly hail. Many fall their dreams of a brighter future extinguished on the slopes of Monte Cassino. But the German defense is brutal. Machine guns tear through their ranks. Mortar shells rain down like deadly hail. Many fall, their dreams of a brighter future extinguished on the slopes of Monte Cassino. On May 18, 1944, after a night of brutal fighting, a small contingent of Polish soldiers reaches the summit. The Polish flag, a symbol of a nation yearning to be free, flutters defiantly against the war-torn sky. A cheer erupts from the Allied lines, a sound both joyous and tinged with the sorrow of unimaginable sacrifice. Monte Cassino is finally taken, but at what cost? The victory is Pyrrhic. Tens of thousands of soldiers lie dead on both sides. The once majestic abbey is a shattered husk, a testament to the destructive power of war. The Battle of Monte Cassino is a stark reminder of the brutality of war. It is a story of courage and sacrifice, of unwavering resolve in the face of overwhelming odds. It is a story etched not just in history books, but in the very stones of Monte Cassino, a requiem in stone for the fallen. The fall of Monte Cassino unlocks the path to Rome. The Allies continue their inexorable march north, but the scars of this battle run deep. It is a victory tinged with loss, a somber prelude to the liberation of the Eternal City. 
The battle may be over, but its legacy endures. It is a story that compels us to remember the cost of freedom, the fragility of peace. It is a story that echoes through the ages, a testament to the enduring human spirit in the face of unimaginable darkness. Monte Cassino, a name forever etched in the annals of war, a place where heroes were forged and sacrifices made. Let their memory be a beacon, guiding us towards a future free from the scourge of conflict.